collab of HBS Beats Discount. What's up everybody, it's your boy Samuski. I'm back again, it's a brown new year 2021. Happy new year to every one of you watching this video. So in case you don't know, it's your boy, instructor and founder of hbsbeats.com. If you're watching this video and you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Like this video, like we'll do it. I'm going to be playing the beat. After that, I'm going to be breaking down the beat, showing you guys everything you need to know about how this beat has been made. So let's do this. Yeah, I'm not going to be playing the whole beat. If you want to learn how to make beats just like this, you need to uh, contact me. My number is in the description of this video. You can start uh, your own training, personal training with me. When you contact me, then we can talk. It's not going to be free. So don't think uh, I'm going to give you free uh, music production training. So if you want free production training, then stick to youtube uh, demo tutorials just like these ones so uh, when i was making this beat i had uh, some guitar loops some guitar chops let me just call it guitar chops uh, which i had to just play them into sections as you can see uh, i sliced them to the area where i really needed so I had this that's it so I ch I chopped this one also and also this one you get my point so I'm not just running a, a straight loop so I just had to cut where I actually need in the loop in the guitar loop hope you understand so let me just show you what the drum sounds like I have this percussion here which sounds like this so as you can see i'm actually cutting it at the detail of the instrument so this voice sounds like on its own so i have another one backing it up this voice sounds like so both of them together So next off to the second pattern, I then added another rim. This voice sounds like. On its own, this voice sounds like. So I have another one here, which sounds like this naturally. So I'm blending both of them together. And I'm blending these two also together. So four of them together, this is what it sounds like. Yeah. Next off, I have the shaker, uh, which sounds like this. And this other percussion, which sounds like this. So both of them together, this is what it sounds like. And that's all. Next off, I have the kick. So this is what the kick sounds like. So it's just a steady kick. All right, next off, I have some extra percussions, which sounds like this. If you want to hear them individually, this is what they sound like. Next off, 
I have another percussion here. Uh, we, we, we sound, which sounds like uh, a conga. So I'm actually using it as a melody, and this is what it sounds like. So one thing you guys don't know, you can actually uh, load up your conga and then play some rhythm into it. Make sure it fits to uh, what you're creating. So next up, I have this beautiful pad, a metal piano from uh, Expand. This is what it sounds like. So this is actually the progression of the song. The progression of the song, most of you don't know what progression is. Progression, it's the flow of the song. How the songs, how the song flows. Is it going from the one? Is it going to the two? Uh, 34, 35, and so on. So in this case, this is my progression. So everything I'm doing, it's actually in this progression. I'm not doing anything outside this progression. So you might be seeing series of chords here. So if you don't understand chords, you need to contact me and take my piano training. So this this is just uh, a left hand and a right hand voicing. Next off, so this is the vamp. So it's still based on the progression here. Next off, I have the bass, which I'm using a uh, Fruity DX. It's a preset called uh, flute is a flute e flute so I, i'm taking it a lower octave so that i can get a deep sound i can use for my bass so there is no point uh, wasting time looking for uh, instruments so anything that sounds exactly like what you're looking for you can actually use that then if it, it it doesn't work later you can swap it so when you're making your beat don't just rely don't just uh, uh, dwell on looking for 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 a uh, nine sounding instruments just anyone that comes to your mind you use it then as you're going forward uh, while you're making the beat you can actually change uh, most of them so that's the way I do. To, that's why I say I make my beats very fast. Anything that comes to my hand, I use it to make my beats. So as time goes on, I can replace them instead of dwelling on looking for good sample or good uh, instruments. I have a grand piano here, which is called the Grand Duo. And uh, it's based of the progression of the song. And this is what it sounds like. So I, as you can see, I'm doing some high-end melody. that's it so i have another pad here based on that same progression you can see it's vamp i'm just vamping it yeah nothing is left out so this is a guitar i told you i consolidate i chop and then consolidate it so both guitars together, this is what they sound like. So I did something around here, which I'm panning on all the way to the right and one all the way to the left. So there is something you can actually do on your guitar, like add auto tune. You know, sometimes the guitar it might not be tuned very properly so you just have to load in auto tune just to make sure it sounds on time especially sax if you're recording sax or if you finish recording your sax you need to still add some auto tune to to make sure the pitches are correct so i'm just going to be playing all of the instruments one after the other so you can see how everything sounds like so i'm actually doing a shaker loop around here you already know this shaker loop 1110 shaker which sounds like this so i'm just going to start out from the intro here 
where we have the grand piano and also the pad. Alright, so I'm going to start off with this. Here comes the shaker. And then uh, this percussion here. Then our pad. Other instruments. There's something I also did here, like uh, making a bounce. So it's just simple thing I did. You can see I, have, I actually cut it. I actually chop this side. It's still the same thing that I see, but I just chop it to make it bounce. And you hear it a lot in, uh, in music. All right. So I have some other percussions here, which you can see. All right, so on the mixing of this beat, you see I added some EQ and some other necessary things which I needed to be added. And also I have EQ here, uh, which I'm cutting the low and the high. And also I'm giving it uh, the loudness with this uh, waves limiter. And that's everything I have used for this beat. So the beat is ready to be recorded on. Enjoy the beat. Yeah, one more thing you can see i have some drum rolls just to shake the place if you need packs you can actually contact me which consists of loops drum rolls and a lot of samples which can make your afro beats or your gospel beat whatever beats you want to make making it easy for you so just try to reach out to me and let's uh, see how we can move forward in the music industry so guys thank you for watching this tutorial if you really love what i'm doing please like the video share with your friends and your loved ones and then tell people about hbs bits this is 2021 see you guys on the next tutorial have fun learning bye